let's talk about blocking out. All right, when I think of blocking out, I think of really one thing. One thing is what I really look for is where the energy is going into the body or if it's not going into the body. I'll show you an example. This is my wall, everybody. Now, a block out to me, I'll use this arm, is if you hit something and it hits you in the shoulder, this is blocking out. Even up here, this can also push in back down into your shoulder. If you have your arm above your head and something hits you, then it's creating a stretch, a stretch reflex. It's doing what your shoulder's supposed to do. Uh, stay there. Mm, block, or the pole bends and it comes up above your head. Make sense? That's really the difference between blocking and how they look different. If you're blocking, it hits you in the shoulder girdle. If your arm's above your head or if you're creating elasticity, good things happen. Now a block is bad for a bunch of reasons. Really the most important is like safety and it's hard to vault on it. Energy's not going where you want it to go. And this event is all about transferring energy into different systems. Body, pull, body. If you're not transferring the energy back into your body at the end, then what's the point, right? It's hard to swing on a block. It's hard to get in the pit on a block. It's hard to pole vault with a block. So don't block. I know the pole will bend a lot, but bending the pole, as if you guys have been watching these a while, just bending the pole isn't always the best. The pole has to bend, move, and then re-put the energy back in your body. If it's just bending a lot, that's just one part of the equation, and no one cares how much you bend the pole. People care how high the bar is when you go over it. It's about as simple as I can make it. Yeah. Yeah.